From Washington, this is VOA News. Coming up, deadly attacks in Somalia plus presidential voting in Venezuela. Hello everyone, I'm Steve Norman. Somali authorities say suicide bombings and assaults by Al-Qaeda-linked Al-Shabaab militants on Mogadishu's main court complex killed at least 22 people, wounded 18 others Sunday, breaking a fragile return to peace. Authorities say the militants were dressed in Somali military uniforms when they stormed the main court building and started shooting at the security guards on duty. Witnesses say they heard explosions in the distance as well. Hours later, a car bomb exploded near the airport in the capital, reportedly damaging a vehicle carrying Turkish citizens. Details about the incident are still unclear. Rights groups in the Democratic Republic of Congo have condemned what they call irregularities in the arrest of an opposition politician and his aide accused of plotting to kill DRC President Joseph Kabila. Nick Long is following the story. This is the third alleged coup plot DRC authorities have said they have uncovered this year. This one was made public a few days ago when 13 suspects were presented to the media in Kinshasa. The suspects were lined up in front of some items. These included a machete, some empty bottles, three bottles containing a little gasoline. Police spokesmen said they had intended to use to attack the presidential motorcade. Police said one of the suspects, Verdict Metuntwa, had named his employer, opposition politician Diomi Ndongala, as the organiser and financier of the plot. But media reports from the presentation said Metuntwa and the other suspects denied this and shouted that the whole thing was a setup. Matuntwa's employer, Diomi Ndongala, told media he had been kidnapped and kept in a secret jail. Nick Long for VOA News, Goma. In Tokyo Sunday, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry offered to go to the table with North Korea to come up with a peaceful resolution to the tensions on the Korean Peninsula if Pyongyang takes steps toward abandoning their nuclear weapons. Hopefully North Korea uh, will hear our words and recognize that for the future of its people uh, and for the future stability in the region as well as on the peninsula itself, there is a clear course of action that, that uh, they are invited to take and they will find in us ready partners to negotiate in good faith to resolve this uh, issue. Top U.S. diplomat reiterated Washington's commitment to the defense of Japan, a key U.S. ally. North Korea has made repeated threats to attack the United States and its regional allies, including Japan and South Korea. Syrian rights activists say government forces have killed 16 people. It happened in an airstrike on a Kurdish village and destroyed the minaret of a historic mosque that helped to launch Syria's two-year rebel movement. The activists accuse Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's government of a barbaric attack on the mosque, which is thought to be more than 1,000 years old. It also served as a hub for opposition activists who were among the first to stage peaceful protest against Mr. Assad's autocratic rule in Dara in March of 2011. Venezuelans voted Sunday to choose a new president in a special election to select a successor to the late Hugo Chavez. Mr. Chavez's hand-picked successor and acting president, Nicolas Maduro, was one of the candidates. His challenger, opposition leader Enrique Cabritas. The opposition had complained that Mr. Maduro used the state bureaucracy of nearly 2.7 million workers and government own media to unfairly support the campaign. Claro, lógicamente los testigos que somos nosotros, ¿verdad? Estamos velando. Election official Juan Martinez said witnesses or observers from each party were on hand at polling stations to make sure there was no voter fraud. Nearly 19 million people across the country were eligible to vote. Thousands of Spanish protesters marched through the streets of the capital, Madrid, to demand the abdication of King Juan Carlos and the refer return, that is, to a democratically elected government. Royal family has come under intense criticism following a series 
of recent scandals, including last year's controversial elephant hunting trip by the 75-year-old king and a corruption investigation involving his daughter, Princess Christina. Sunday's protest marked the anniversary of the country's last democratically elected republic, which was overthrown by a coup and an installed dictator, General Francisco Franco. For more on that story, go to voanews.com.